strap yourselves in guys, it's eyebrow time. <laughs> Welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope you're good. I hope you're well. If you're new here, please subscribe. Join my family it means the absolute world. We are over a thousand now and it just makes me so, so happy. So thank you so much for joining. And if you haven't, you know what to do. Go subscribe. I had to film a little get ready with me, which is why I'm in my dressing gown and looking like this. But then I thought, why am I not doing one of my most highly requested videos? Why am I not? Because that is my first step. It's these guys, it's these girls that are above my eyes. This is gonna be a brow tint and brow shaping tutorial. I basically tint my eyebrows every week on my own because one, I've got trust issues and two, I think it's a lot of money to upkeep. Only, I've only ever let one person do my eyebrows and that's one of my best friends, Abby, and she is absolutely incredible. But with my shift pattern and stuff, it's hard to always fit it in. So I just find it a lot easier to do my eyebrows until like a special occasion. For the brow tint, you're gonna need first, this is the High Flash Define Intensity in the shade Uptown Brown. I'm gonna link this down below. You can get it from Amazon. It is so accessible and so, so good. This is actually what my friend uses and she's a professional beautician. So it is actually what the beauticians use. And to go with this, you'll also need the developer, which you can also get from Amazon, but they don't do the High Flash one. So I'm gonna link one that's similar below. You'll also need a barrier cream. This is a beauty bag, Castor oil and seed oil. And I just put this underneath my eyebrows. And you can use Vaseline, Vaseline works amazingly. You'll also need a spoolie. She looks a little bit trash, but it's only because I use it for my brows. And then a little pot, don't judge me, this is my eyebrow pot. So before you start, you're gonna want to just start by combing your eyebrows. Then you're going to go around with your barrier cream. I just take this on a cotton wool bud just to make sure I get it in the right place. Also, before we carry on, just a disclosure, I'm not a professional. <laughs> this is just, I've always tinted my eyebrows myself. It's really hard being so fair and having such fair eyebrows and eyelashes to get the, like, the right shade. So this is why when I find one, I stick to it. So then you're gonna to wanna to take a small like centimetre of this tint and pop it in your pot. This looks vile, so it just looks like that. Is that a centimetre? Probably two. Anyway, then you're gonna take a couple of drops of the Hive Lash Developer, 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 a little drop, 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 then give it a little stir. I just give it a stir with the bottom of my spoolie and I take the spoolie, once I've stirred it and it looks like a little creamy mixture, I just take the spoolie and just start to brush it into my eyebrows and just don't worry if it looks messy. You've got that barrier there so it's gonna stop it from going anywhere. Then I just put the remainder of it, Just I just run it through my lashes and I leave it for four minutes. In a minute, I'm a nigga, and a man and woman, bump me up. The reason I only do it for four minutes is because my eyebrows are already tinted, like I have never not had tinted eyebrows probably since the age of like 16. So they take really well to lash tint now, they really do. But if you've got really fair eyebrows like I used to have, then leave it on for longer. You can leave it on for up to six minutes, so do that. And also, just to note as well, when you first take the dye off, if it's not as tinted as what you'd like, do not panic because the next day she develops. And if you keep putting more on the next day, you're gonna have black eyebrows. But I'm gonna wait four minutes and I'll come back when I can take it off. Right, we're back. Now, I've just wet some cotton wool buds. Buds? Pads. <laughs> I'm not with it today. I'm sorry. And then I just start to just remove it. Now look at those. Now you won't tell like a massive difference, but trust me, in person, it's there. Ready to do my brows. Now the reasons I always do my brows first in my makeup routine is because I don't like the sticky residue that it leaves underneath my foundation. So I always do my eyebrows first. It works differently for different people, but I found that works best for me. Two of my favourite brow products is obviously the Refi Brow Sculpt. I haven't been using this as much recently because it's running out and I've got a fresh one but I want to use my fresh one on holiday which is why I haven't been using this as much. So because of that I thought I'll venture out and try something new. Now the Beauty Crop is absolutely incredible. They sent me this BFF Brow Wax probably about a couple of months ago, but I haven't used it because I love Refi. However, wow, wow, this is 
so good and it literally locks your eyebrows into place i love them both i find refi a lot quicker and a lot easier i think a wax you do have to work with a lot more Refi will always be my favorite but this is a close close second and the way they both lock the brows in you could not go wrong with either i think i've used refi in a lot of videos so i'm going to show you with the brow wax so i take this spoolie that was sent to me from anastasia beverly hills which is incredible and it looks like this, it, she looks a bit trash. And then one side you've got the, the thing that will press your brows into place. Just take a little bit of that wax, it looks like this, it's clear. Don't need much. And I'm going to do the same technique I do for Refi. So even if you do get Refi, then you can use this technique or any kind of brow wax. So I start by brushing my eyebrows into the opposite direction. I found the wax takes a lot quicker to your brows and takes less time to dry, whereas this takes a little bit longer to dry and you've got more time to move around with it. Once I've coated my eyebrows at the front, I start working it back into the shape that I want. So I do my eyebrows up and over. So like up and then diagonal. And this just like lifts eyebrows and lifts your face without making it looking too unnatural and this just makes your eyebrows look so full and then I take the side from the Anastasia Beverly Hills if you're using the refi you can just roll it and then just start to kind of lock my eyebrows so you just wipe it across and you can do this with anything like I said I've been using the refi side to do it with look at the difference like I think it genuinely just lifts your face and that's why I love kind of the natural laminated look. Then I'm going to go in with my fave ever brow pencil. This is the Refi Brow Sculpt Pencil. I think it's in the shade medium. I love it because it's so thin and you can really really get those little brow hairs and you can see I've got some sparse areas here so I just go in really gently holding it really really gently with my hand. This just thickens it and just makes it look natural rather than looking like heavy. And then before I go on to the rest of my makeup I always make sure I clean up my eyebrows using cotton wool and micellar water just around it just to make sure it's super clean and clear before I start with my foundation. I'm going to jump off camera, finish my makeup and then I'll be back so you can see the finished result. There you have it guys, there are my brows in full glory i love you all so so much and i hope you found that helpful please comment down below if you did and yeah you guys need to try these products i love you all see you next week